ISRO's first ever solar mission was launched successfully from Sathish Dhawan Space Center at Sriharikota today. The Aditya L-1 Surya PSLV C-57 or the Aditya L-1 mission is ISRO's first ever solar mission was launched successfully from Sathish Dhawan Space Center at Sriharikota today on O2ND September 2023 as 11.50 am. It is India's first space-based mission and Indian observatory, so to speak, to study the sun from close quarters. Hi friend! Hope you are fine. Welcome back to, SciTech Buzz, channel. In this video, I shall reveal to you what a few details regarding the commencement of space-based solar missions, the various types of mission crafts used in space, the general mission objectives and the benefits of such missions in space. I shall also go in slightly more depth into the Aditya L-1 mission which was launched by India successfully today, with explanation regarding its destination and the kind of work it will carry out there, once it reaches its destination orbit around the Sun. Before we go any further, kindly go ahead, click on the like button and subscribe to this channel, SciTech Buzz, so that you will not miss out on a single video. Please watch until the end of this video, since you might find just something within it, which might help you, personally in life. Ok friend, let us dive into this analysis now. Since the 4th of February 1961, when the first solar mission to the Sun was launched by the Earth while USSR, with its TYAZHELI Sputnik which was a lander-type craft, there have been several missions by various countries to study the Sun. These mission crafts are of various types, such as flyby, orbiter, lander, rover, penetrator, atmospheric probe or balloon and sample return craft. Some of the terms used under type of missions are as follows. A flyby mission is where the probe flies by an astronomical body, but does not orbit it. An orbiter mission is where a part of a probe orbits an astronomical body. A lander mission is where a part of a probe that descends to the surface of an astronomical body. A rover mission is where part of a probe that acts as a vehicle to move on the solid surface of an astronomical body. A penetrator mission is where a part of a probe impacts an astronomical body. An atmospheric probe or balloon mission is where a part of a probe that descends through or floats in the atmosphere of an astronomical body. They are not restricted to weather balloons and other atmospheric sounders, as they can also be used for surface and subsurface imaging and remote sensing. A sample return mission is where parts of the probe return to Earth with physical samples. All these different types of mission have different objectives to achieve, and while achieving those set objectives, they gather extremely vital information and tons of data from their respective missions which will be researched and analyzed for years to come by expert scientists of different fields within the science and technology realm. These types of research and analysis and their conclusions offers us many insights into our universe, thereby making way for future development, growth of humanity as a whole. Because without understanding, there can be no direction set for human progress. The Aditya L-1 Surya PSLV C-57 is an orbiter mission craft which is set to orbit the Sun, and while observing it keenly, gather valuable information which will help everyone. Aditya L-1 marks a significant milestone as India's maiden space mission dedicated to the study of our Sun. Positioned at a strategic location known as Lagrange Point 1, L-1, which is situated approximately 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth. This mission is poised to revolutionize our understanding of the Sun's behavior and its impact on space weather. At its core, Aditya L-1 boasts a groundbreaking feature. It orbits in a halo orbit around the L-1 point. This unique orbital choice ensures that the spacecraft maintains an uninterrupted and continuous view of the Sun, free from any interruptions like occultations or eclipses. This, in turn, grants scientists the unparalleled opportunity to monitor solar activities in real time. The spacecraft is equipped with an impressive array of seven cutting-edge payloads, these instruments are meticulously designed to observe various layers of the Sun, including the photosphere, chromosphere, and the elusive outermost layer, the corona. To achieve this, Aditya L-1 relies on a combination of electromagnetic detectors, particle detectors, and magnetic field detectors, allowing it to comprehensively investigate the Sun's dynamic properties. What sets Aditya L-1 apart is its vantage point at L-1 
which provides an unobstructed view of the sun for four of its payloads. These specialized instruments directly capture the sun's emissions and activities. Meanwhile, the remaining three payloads engage in in-situ studies of particles and fields at Lagrange Point L1, delivering invaluable insights into the propagation of solar dynamics throughout the interplanetary medium. The suite of payloads aboard Aditya L1 promises to yield a treasure trove of scientific data. This data will significantly contribute to our understanding of critical phenomena such as coronal heating, coronal mass ejections, pre-flare and flare activities, as well as the intricate dynamics of space weather. Furthermore, it will facilitate investigations into the behavior and propagation of particles and fields within this cosmic environment. In conclusion, Aditya L1 represents a groundbreaking endeavor that will propel our understanding of the Sun to new heights. With its state-of-the-art instruments and strategic positioning, it is poised to unlock a wealth of scientific knowledge, shedding light on the mysteries of our Sun and its influence on the space environment. Today's milestone was, the launch of Aditya L1 by PSLV C57 has been accomplished successfully. Current status. The launch vehicle has placed Aditya L1 into its precisely itended orbit. And with this, India's Durst Solar Observatory has begun its journey to its destination of Sun-Earth L1 point. In one of our future videos, we shall explore into greater depth, the various details of Aditya L1's objectives along with the several payloads it is carrying, their types, capacities and their capabilities. Thank you friend, for having spent your precious time in watching this video. If you have found some value in it, please go ahead, click on the like button, share this video amongst your family members, friends, your social media and subscribe to SciTech Buzz, so that you will not miss out any of the forthcoming videos. Thank you. Let's see each other in the next video.